Virginia from Savage, number three, Dawson Garcia. I don't think Dawson is someone who crumbles under pressure. I think he's someone who elevates his play when the lights are bright. Garcia takes it away. Team captain, preseason all Big Ten. Dawson Garcia gets on the board here. I don't shy away from the bright lights just because I love the big moments and I feel like I was built for those moments. One of the most talented bigs in all of the Big Ten. He is a native of Savage, Minnesota. I've always had a little bit of edge to me, and in high school that helped me out a lot. I was fortunate to have a lot of schools recruiting me. He told people when he was a young age that's what he was going to do, play college basketball. There was no doubt in his mind that that's what he was going to do. It was very humbling to see him wanted by so many schools and top programs in the country. The decision was, was, was very tough. It was tough to say no to the home state, but at the end of the day, at the time, Marquette was the best option for me. I spent the season at Marquette, and then I went to North Carolina. For about half a year, I played about 16 games. Halfway through the season at North Carolina, that I decided to come back home, um, just due to family issues. You know, we were going through a lot at the time, dealing with a lot of um, family death. Our family went through a lot of loss in a short amount of period of time. And family members being ill, he didn't do the easy thing. For him, the easy thing would have been to stay there, focus on basketball. He decided he needed to come home. As parents, it's tough because, you know, um, you know what he has given, given up. He just said, I can't be off playing basketball when my family needs me. From that point on, it was just kind of day by day. Sometimes kids don't want to come back home. So your first question is, all right, is, this, is there a, a chance here? When I found out through talking with him and his family that you know Minnesota was definitely going to be an option that they wanted to look at, then the balls start rolling. That decision to come back to Minnesota impacts me a lot to this day. The more adversity you go through in life, the tougher and more resilient you're going to become naturally. And I feel like everything shaped me into the person I am today. To have him home after everything that we've been through, just, um, it just meant the world. You know, just, uh, just very proud. With him, you know, and all his accomplishments, but even more so as a person. Here, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, oh, I'm back. I got the chills the first time I put the Minnesota jersey on. He's a Minnesota kid, and he wanted the Gopher program to be back on the upswing, and he wanted to have something to do with it. I'm from Savage, Minnesota, a suburb about 30 minutes south of Minneapolis. My mom and my dad put a court in our backyard, and I spent a lot of hours out there in the cold and the hot summer days. He was easy to take care of because he was always out on the basketball court. We could always hear the dribbling. We just hear the the dum, the dum, ba 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 ba, you know. I grew up playing in the game as well, but then probably around middle school when he started to grow tall, I remember one time specifically he blocked my shot and I just like fell to the ground and I was like, I, I just can't play him one on one anymore. <laughs> Those days are over. I first learned about Dawson as a basketball player going all the way back to my days as an assistant coach here. Very similar experience as Dawson. Um, you know, first two years going away for college. 
and then being able to have the opportunity to come back home and put the jersey on. I know there's not a day that goes by that he doesn't you know, really cherish that. Looking for more, and Minnesota gets their first Big Ten win. Dawson Garcia, the hero. It makes me feel good that I came back and I'm trying to build something special here. It's important to have somebody like Dawson to be from this state. He's kind of becoming, hopefully, the face of what Gopher basketball is. And he's part of the group that's laying that foundation. To be a hometown kid and have that blood flowing through your veins, it just kind of takes it up a whole nother level.